tap a hole with threads. We're going to use an 8mm by 125 tap to cut the threads in this piece of metal. If you take a closer look at the tap, you'll see the end is tapered for easy starting, and the grooves are called flutes. That's for the metal chips to roll into the flutes to help prevent binding. Secure the tap into the T-handle by squarely setting it in there and tightening the T-handle. Now we're going to add a cutting lubricant. You can use almost any lubricant, but if you have a cutting lubricant, it will make the job easier. Liberally apply the lubricant to the tap and into the hole. Starting the tap is a little bit tricky. You have to make sure the tap is straight up and down, and when you first start it, it's going to rock back and forth. I like to place my thumb straight on top of the tap and apply some downward pressure in an effort to keep it straight up and down as I gently rotate it around with my other hand. I'm trying to prevent the tap from rocking back and forth so I get a straight cut or the tap is centered in the hole. You can see that I have a little trouble with the tap rocking back and forth so I'm very careful to reposition it to make it go straight up and down. After I get some bite, I will take a look at it from the front and make sure it looks straight from one direction. Then I'll look from the other direction to make sure it also looks straight before I continue. Once I'm certain it's straight, I will continue with the cutting process. As you cut, the tap will start to bind because the metal chips are going to get in the way. The flutes in the tap will allow some of the chips to flow out of the way and get into the flutes. As you continue to turn, the metal chips start to fill into the flutes and come out the top. However, eventually they're going to get in the way and start to bind. You can feel this when you turn it carefully. Therefore, when it starts to bind, simply back the tap off a half to maybe one full turn, maybe even a little bit more, and that will force the chips into the flute area. Then you can continue to cut some more. Continue to turn the tap to cut more threads, backing it off and turning it clockwise again to cut more threads. At some point in time, you're going to want to take the tap out all the way, clean more chips out, and continue with the process. This will prevent binding and make the cutting process easier and cleaner. In addition, there's less chance to break the tap. The last thing you want to do is break a tap off on a hole since it is hardened metal and it will not drill out very easily. Here I'm cleaning the chips with a rag and I see a little chip in the hole so I'll get that out with a small screwdriver. I'll then apply some more lubricant onto the tap and into the hole before I continue. The tap should thread part way down just by finger. Once I feel it bind, I'll have to put the T-handle back on it to continue the process. Once again, I'll cut some more threads, carefully feeling how hard it is to turn. The harder it is to turn, I will have to back the tap off to allow the chips to fall into the fluted area so that I don't break the tap. Working the tap back and forth a little bit will make it go down easier. Carefully work the tap till it's all the way through and you have nice clean threads completely through the hole. If you have a blind hole, the tap will bottom out into the bottom of the hole. Once the cutting process is complete, go ahead and remove the tap completely.
I've cleaned some of the tap off and now I'm going to use some brake clean to clean the holes and take a close look at my threads. Blow it out with a little bit of air. Feel for any burrs. If you have a little burr, take a small flat file and carefully dress it up a little bit. This will remove any burrs on the top edge. A little bit more brake clean and a little bit of air. Now take a proper size bolt and give it a try. Here I've got an 8mm by 125 bolt and I'm going to see how well it fits. This threads down real nice. The threads on the bolt are a little bit dirty so when I pull it out you'll see some of the dirt come off. It doesn't have too much wiggle so it fits properly. I'm going to clean it off one more time and hit it with a little bit of air. And let's take a closer look at the threads I cut. Here they look nice and clean all the way through, from the top all the way to the bottom. As I flip it over, you can see the nice threads go all the way through. When you're done, take some brake clean and clean the chips off of the tap. Taking care of your tools is an important part of mechanics. A little bit of air to blow off the brake clean will finish the job. If you use a drill, you want to go ahead and clean the drill as well. 